Well, I thought it was about time that uh, we finally released some sort of video, you know, to help uh, people unlock their iPhone. There have been a lot of good tutorials out there, but none of them actually tried to explain everything completely. They'll either set, you know, use terms that uh, if you're a new person, you're new, you know, you'll not understand um, what's going on, or they'll send you to different, you know, different other tutorials. So I decided to make this video to help uh, help you out, and basically show you step by step what you're supposed to be doing. I'm sure after you watch this video, you'll see that actually it's really, really simple. Before we begin, I need to start off by explaining a few things. Number one, you're going to have to know that you have to use version 1.02 on your iPhone. You can do that by updating your phone. But let's start with a totally brand new phone. And we'll go on from there. So right over here we have a brand new packaged iPhone. I'm going to open it up now. You know, and I thought, you know, it's always nice to see somebody opening up an iPhone box. Isn't it? So let's open it up. Here we have the iPhone. Now what we need to do now is as soon as, well first of all, once you switch it on for the very first time, it's going to ask you to activate the, the iPhone. We don't want to activate it. We don't want to be, you know, connected to AT&T. We don't have, well, we don't want it to have anything to do with AT&T. So what we need to do, we need to bypass the activation. So how are we going to do that? Please watch on. You're going to see exactly what I'm going to be doing. All right now, so I'm basically I'm still in its packaging, and as you can see, I've just basically slipped off the plastic because I just don't want to make it dirty because I'm going to be sending it off to someone. But what we're going to do is we're going to prepare your PC first of all, so that you can get it ready for for basically bypassing the activation. And uh, hopefully you're going to have to jailbreak the phone. Jailbreaking basically allows you to transfer things to the phone as far as I understand anyway. Um, and then basically what we're going to do after that is we're going to transfer any SIM to the phone. And that will allow us to unlock the iPhone. Before we do anything, you're going to have to, you're going to, have to press Control alt delete on your PC. You're going to have to see this window. What you do is you search for where it says iPod Helper. You also see iTunes Helper. So if you go click on Im uh, image name, so you can sort it by image name. You, here you have iTunes Helper. End it. Make sure that you have iTunes not running. So now what you're gonna have to do, you're gonna have to plug in your USB cable into the phone. And basically, this is what you're gonna see. It's gonna ask you to activate iTunes, uh, I the iPhone. And by connecting it to iTunes. We don't want to hook it up to, to we don't want to really activate it with AT&T. We want to have nothing to do with AT&T. After all, we want to unlock the iPhone. Now, what's going to happen is, you're going to have various uh, pop-ups telling you that it's installing, and hopefully, you know, iTunes will also launch. What you're going to have to do is, you're going to have to disconnect, uh, you're going to have to delete, stop all any programs that have to do with iTunes. You're going to have to close iTunes, press Control alt delete and close the iTunes helper and also the iPod uh, application. I'm going to show that to you in a moment. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to press this, the top right button up here and you're also going to push the home button. You're going to hold them simultaneously for around 25 seconds or at least until you see the yellow button. So I'm going to do that right now. Holding it. You can see a yellow triangle. And as you can see, it says, please connect to iTunes. So now I'm going to launch iTunes. So I open up the application. It's going to tell you that iTunes has been detected in iPhone, uh, that iTunes has detected in iPhone in recovery mode, and ask you, you know, and tell you that you need to press OK. Just so, just click OK. Everything will be fine. Basically, what you need to do, you're going to have to click on Restore. 
and let the phone update to the latest version, which is 1.02. We don't want to update to anything after 1.02 if there is ever, ever a release. Not for now, anyway, until we're sure. Also, you have to make sure that you have, a, you have any, some, any version that is less than 7.4. Your iPhone will then say that it's preparing for restoring. This is what it'll look like. Give it a few minutes and it'll update to 1.02. After it's finished, your iPhone will then restart. As you can see, it still wants me to activate the iPhone. So we're going to go back to the PC. And you'll see that it's you know trying to do its thing. It's going to tell me that I couldn't connect to the to, the, to some network because um, I've actually disabled it from uh, connecting to anything. I'm going to open iBricker. I've saved iBricker to a folder on my desktop. Here it is over here. You can take a look at it right before I click it. And basically, all I need to do is follow the instructions. Now, basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to restart my iPhone in restore mode. I'm going to shut, shut the phone off. First, I'm going to shut the phone off by holding the power button. I'm going to slide the red slider. As soon as the phone is off, I'm going to turn it on. And as soon as the gray Apple logo shows up, I'm going to press both the ho hold and hold both the home and power buttons until the yellow triangle appears. I already demonstrated it, but I'm going to have to do that again. I've said that this is going to be for noobs, so I'm going to do everything. So I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to press and hold it, hold the top right button, slide the power off. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to hold, okay, I'm going to press and hold both the home and the power button. There you go. Now save the iTunes detected as in recovery mode. I'm just going to click OK, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to iBricker. Put my phone down for just a moment. And it even tells you that iTunes is running. Ignore all the messages from it. And basically, it's going to tell you that it takes three to four minutes, but it could take as long as ten minutes. What we're going to do is we're just going to sit back and we're going to relax. So I've left it and basically what it's done is it's restarted and then iBricker basically tells me that it's been modified so I won't have to go through this process again unless I restore the iPhone. So now that the iPhone has finished starting up I can click on Sweet! So as you can see iBricker is an easy way to customize your iPhone. Please wait while we contact your iPhone. If your iPhone is not plugged in Please plug in the USB cable now. As you can see, it's plugged in. What we're going to do now is we're going to install both AnySIM and BIMKit. So what we do is we click on Applications. And basically, tell before you can place any application, you need to install the Pixel theme on your phone. So, we're going to install Pixel. See, it should take a few seconds. There you go. It says restart your phone by pressing and holding power button, exactly how you need to do it normally. So, I'm going to do that right now. 